Good morning, everyone. Hi. Um, so a little update. Today I'm going into the doctor um, to see my counts are up for me to go in the hospital. I was really, really sad um, on Tuesday because I was supposed to go into the hospital. But my blood was not up enough for me to go to the hospital which is so annoying actually I was so sad I actually had a little emotional day but then my mom made me feel better everybody made me feel better my family did my lovey brought me some flowers I love him so much and I got over it and he said that I could go and get blood the same day so I got blood on Tuesday um and hopefully it'll stay up today so I can get my counts I the only reason I got sad, y'all, was because this is my last round I'm claiming for the rest of my life. And I was just like, I want to get this over with. And I got my hopes up. So today I'm not getting my hopes up. But you know what? I really want to go in today just so I can get it done, get the chemo done. But also I'm trying to tell myself, do I really want to go in if it's not okay to go in? So that's why I'm just telling myself, not get your hopes up. If you don't go today, then you'll go Monday. Also, my hair is growing back pretty well. I don't know how because I'm still bald in other areas. So, I don't know what's going on with that. But, I'm not complaining. I want to thank God. He wants me to get some waves in my head or something. Maybe a little bit of baby hairs. A few little swoops. I'm trying to make a little bit of baby hairs or something. You never know. Alright, I'll keep you guys updated. Um... Yeah, that's all. I hope you have a great day. Hopefully, y'all pray, pray, pray that I go in today. If not, you'll see me in the next scene. Sad. Bye. Peace. Okay, don't say anything in my nails. Broke, okay, bye. It's broke, bye. Don't say anything in the comments. Thank you. Love you. Bye. What we do here is go back, back, back. I'm done. I'm done with my last chemo. Guys, today has been so emotional. I've been crying ever since I probably woke up. And I'm probably about to start again because God is so good to me and I'm just so thankful for everything. And it's just been such an emotional day. I don't wanna freaking start crying all over again. All my nurses and my doctors, they have been so amazing to me. And I really feel like I couldn't be any more blessed, so I'm just so thankful and so blessed. I can't believe this is my fourth round, well, fifth, but I'm just so blessed. And I still gotta keep you guys updated because it's a long way to go, but God is so good and merciful, and I really wouldn't be here without Him, so I'm done. They're so funny, literally. I'm getting out of here. Go, Miss Carolyn. Go, Miss Carolyn. Oh, 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 shake your little rump. Y'all. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Miss Carolyn is so funny. I'm so good. So dusty. Mm -mm. Hold on. W one minute. One second, please. Hold on. <laughs> hey guys. <laughs> um, it's been a while since I vlogged. I've been trying to adjust to just a lot of things that's been going on. Uh, Y'all, it's been honestly. You think that during the chemo that's like the hardest part which it is it's so hard but afterwards like your mental state has to be so strong like literally so strong like i found myself like kind of depending on the chemo which is crazy like i'm like what the heck like after the chemo after my last round i'm like so this is it like and this is where your faith really has to come in and your, your belief in God and your belief that you are really healed because after the chemo, I'm like, I know that every time that my blood starts radiating, coming back, like I know that 
the chemo is going to kill every leukemic cell every time I go in. So it's nothing to worry about because I know that the chemo is going to kill the cancer. But after that last round, it's like I have to really depend on my faith and my and I just believe I'm healed and you know. So it's like it's like God's like, do you really trust me? I'm like, yeah, I really trust you. So now it's not about the medicine. It's not about the treatment. It's about literally. I'm healed and I know I'm healed. I don't know if that sounds right. And I don't know, it's, it's a weird thing. It's a weird thing. And then like a few days ago, I went to the eye doctor and y'all tell me why, this is an eye appointment now. The guy looking in my eye and the whole time, the whole time before this, I see myself getting emotional because everybody keeps asking me like, wow, so you had leukemia? Like, are you okay? Like, how'd you find out this and that? And I'm just like, what the heck I had leukemia like, I can't believe I have to explain this to people like it's still unreal to me that I had cancer so I'm like yes I say had because literally I had cancer I'm cancer free and I believe that and I believe that I will be cancer free for the rest of my life okay back to the story so I'm literally in there and People keep coming in, you know, to do my eye exam because they do like the before the doctor comes. And the doctor comes in and then he starts doing my eyes and looking in my eye and I feel myself like about to cry. And he says, You have a nice sheen. He's looking at my eyes, he said, Your eyes are getting kind of like and like kind of watery. I'm like, I start I had to back when I'm like, I'm sorry, and I start crying. In the eye doctor crying. What? Like, what are you doing, Amber? <laughs> what are you doing? Why are you crying, Lily? Why are you crying? And so I feel really bad. He's like, "Oh, I'm so sorry." The um, I back when I'm like, "Oh my God, I'm so sorry. I'm crying." And he goes, "I'm oh yeah, the light can sometimes do that." And I'm like, "I'm not trying to let this man know I'm crying because of my whole cancer thing." I said, "Oh yeah, the light, the light." And then y'all, that's when I could not stop crying. And half of it is because it's so surreal to me about the whole cancer thing. Then another half of me is just so grateful and so blessed that I'm even in here to get an eye exam. Every time I wake up, it's like I'm so blessed. Every time I breathe, every time I laugh, I really am like I am so blessed to even be alive right now. Like life is crazy, literally. It can change in a blink of an eye. Life changed for me and literally 0.5 seconds it's so crazy um so half of the time I, when i do cry it's like i'm just so grateful literally to be alive and be here and be able to even talk to this camera right now and i'm just god is so good to me and i'm just so grateful and now my goal is to get out more i literally y'all stay in the house sometimes because of course covid i have underlying issues i'm not trying to get sick also, because now it's about to be flu season, I have to tell myself, my pastor, my granddad, he my pastor, you know, I love my church, y'all, I love my church. He says, God has already purified the air around you. You cannot be scared to do your daily activities because, I mean, you have to go out to the store. You have to go get food. You know what I'm saying? So every time I go out, because I go to the doctor twice a week, so every time I go out, I say, God, purify the air, purify the air, the ones that are around me purify all the people that I love, purify all their air because it's crazy. This world is crazy. So that's my little spill. Thank you guys so much for listening to me. The journey's not over. I have to go to Charleston in, in a few weeks, go back in a few weeks to get a bone biopsy to make sure everything looks okay. Um, and I asked my doctor because I was so confused about this in the beginning, like how would they know if something came back, which um, if I'm not getting bone biopsies all the time, like I haven't gotten one in a few months. And he said, um, cause I go to the doctor every Monday and Thursday and they draw blood. And, um, so he said that they could see it in the blood when I go, when I um, do that kind of stuff. And I love my doctor y'all. He's amazing. I really do love him. Um, he's really been there for me. He's the one who told me about my whole leukemia thing by myself. I'm sitting there crying. But anyway um thank you guys for always supporting i hope you guys um just just keep me in your prayers the journey is far from over i have a whole life to live with this in my on my heart and my conscience so just pray for me and i know this was kind of rambling and kind of like a rant so i'm sorry y'all just my people i talk to 
I love each and every one. Excuse my bonnet. Excuse my bonnet. We're manifesting good hair. Okay, see, the hair is kind of looking crazy, so we're going to put that back up. Okay, bye. Love you all so much. Peace.